their comfort zones. Spoken with failure in translation. A language that I've been using without uh, conscious effort. Resistance to talk through those ideas or a resistance to acknowledge a position in the market. Now I'm going back to physical materials. What does it actually mean to enlist people as the substance of your work? You start to look at the material, or where, you know, where does the material come from? Why do they use it? You know, these sort of questions are kind of questions of trying to find disclosure, trying to find an access to work. Not very often I use myself to play all the roles. How do you see yourself in that position as kind of being materialist or working through materials? This whole idea of this body double, that's not really a body double. It's a game you play with us as an artist and an audience as well. I reenact or I reinterpret a famous iconic audience. How is it related to the market? I think we should play space for other kinds of point making or um, discussion raising other than that which fits formally within an academic context. So for example, the rhetorical outburst. Why am I doing it? I wanted to reference this style of flower arrangements. I think it's actually an ethical, not even wrong. I think it might be an ethical problem. I think it's very easy to forget what, what, what your motivations were when making something in first place. For me, I love taking a character out without a name first and I see what it does, and then I name it from circumstances and from my research and what I feel I need to talk to people about. The aspect of life in the double sense with V and with F is super important in my work. I need to find a way to, to, to add fire to the fire.